Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to do something a little bit different. And today, I want to talk about a hero in the community. The best summon in the game, no less. If you guys heard the phrase, not all heroes wear capes, well, that's true because this hero wears a pot on the head. <laughs> I am of course talking about the player known as Let Me Solo Her. Some of you guys may have heard of them, some of you may have seen some of the fan art doing the rounds, some of you may have even seen the video, but for those of you guys that have not, I want to talk about this legend because what they are doing is incredible and honestly it's been so cool to see. This player, Let Me Solo Her, has single-handedly been helping hundreds of players take down Melania. I'm sure many of you guys have faced Melania, many of you know just how tough she can be, many of you probably given up because she is such a pain in the backside or you've had to resort to overpowered weapons just to take her down she is by many people considered one of the toughest fights in both the game and also from software games in general and let me solo her has basically taken on the mantle to help the fellow tarnished that basically cannot get past her so if you guys do enjoy this video a like will be super appreciated comment down below let me know if you have crossed paths with this hero with this legend with this tarnished and of course don't forget to keep it locked on the channel for plenty more Elden Ring but to begin with let's talk about this hero who exactly is let me solo her well they actually had an interview with IGN the other day and of course originally they fell in love with Souls games after playing Dark Souls 3. They'd previously been an avid PvP player in other From Software games. And when Elden Ring came out he picked a samurai class to basically play through the game and he's of course now on New Game Plus currently working to finish all the side quests. But it's worth noting he was not born a Melania master. He said that his first attempts to kill Melania were rough. Apparently it took him around 242 attempts and he needed two summons to finish her off. But it was because of that extreme difficulty that he basically felt motivated to help other people and then took on the mantle. He said that he chose Melania to help because he fell in love with her design, all of her attacks are very graceful and she is a very unforgiving boss. Her infamous waterfowl dance is considered to be one of the hardest moves to dodge from a From Software boss to date, so he decided to prove to others that it was not impossible. He started working on his build and practicing and he has apparently around 200 hours total on this particular character. He is sitting at level 179 and does not plan on leveling up any further and currently he wields dual katanas so of course they are a player after my own heart one of those katanas is the rivers of blood plus nine and the other one is a cold uchi katana plus 25 with horfrost stomp he's also running with the green turtle viridian amber medallion kindred of rot's exaltation and the claw talisman and that is basically it well aside from of course the pot on his head because he said of course there is a running tradition in soulsborne games that the naked players are the most powerful beings in the game. Why wear armor if you don't plan on getting hit at all? And the pot is a good luck charm from the character Iron Fist Alexander, who is a character that he admires. So I think that is pretty awesome. And let's be honest, although it is a character walking around in their pants, it does look kind of badass. He said that he's lost count of how many millennials he's defeated, but he estimates it's somewhere between 300 and 400. He does not have a perfect record, however. He said he has lost to her. And uh, in fact, he's even sort of done a post where he apologizes to anyone that he has lost to. Two, but regardless, taking down three to four hundred millennials, helping that many players get through the most difficult boss is an incredible feat. He said that sometimes the lag between the host and himself is too much, which is what results in him getting killed, or occasionally he will, of course, miss the crucial timing on the waterfowl dance. So, again, there are definitely some things that uh, you know can cause him to slip up, and he did say he would like to express his apology to those that he has failed. But, of course, following this, he has quickly become a legend in the community. One of the things that always amazes me whenever you sort of look at stuff like this, or just when video games get announced, is just how quickly people can make fan art, and there has been an incredible surge of fan art following the creation of this legend. We have this reddit post with the uh, sort of epic pose and the fantastic camera angle. The sort of dynamic of this shot is super cool. Someone even made a sculpture. They printed it, painted it, looking incredible. Someone sculpted the encounter in ZBrush, which looks fantastic. I mean, this fully colored, maybe 3D printed as a model would look insane. And then we have a whole slew of Twitter art, some of which you can see scrolling in the background, basically just highlighting how badass this character looks. And again, it goes back to what I said before. While ordinarily a naked character with a pot on her head might not sound that awesome, the way that it's been drawn just makes this look like the hero of the story. This is quite literally the most powerful character in the game. Now, of course, if any of you guys out there are struggling with Melania, then of course, it's not necessarily a guarantee you will always get this player. But if you are struggling and you do go and use the full finger and try and look for that summon sign, if ever you see the summon sign, let me solo her, then uh, that is basically your ticket to victory. 
I will link the video in the description box down below. The actual player behind Let Me Sell Her has a YouTube channel called Klein Suboy, so of course I will link that down below and the original video. They actually uploaded a video where they were the third summon and they still soloed the boss, so of course factoring that when you do have multiple players there are of course scaled health pools, so this is definitely a very impressive feat and uh, it is a fantastic video to watch. It's about nine minutes long, so if you want to watch the full run, it is linked down below. You would, of course, have seen small snippets in this video, but I'm not going to use their video in its entirety, so definitely go give that a watch. And of course, if you do see the summon sign, make sure you take advantage of it. But that's pretty much it. Just a little quick video. I want to sort of talk about a, uh, a legend in the community. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Again, let me know if you guys have encountered this player. If you are Let Me Solo Her and you happen to see this video, then thank you for your service to the community. It is so cool to see what you're doing. And of course, don't forget to keep it locked on the channel for plenty more Elden Ring.